Does size matter? You're going to want to watch this video. Carnival believes it does. And guess what? More big ships coming. Carnival Celebration, Carnival Jubilee, they're all coming. This ship is powered by liquefied natural gas, the only ships in the world to do so, at almost a billion dollars each. Carnival believes this is the answer. This video is going to show you the difference between the big ships and the classic Carnival ships. We've got a great video for you today on how to have fun outdoors. That's right, we've got an awesome video for you. Is bigger better? That is the question that everybody wants to know. Are you ready? Let's compare sizes. First, let's start by hitting that like button. Let's try to get more likes on this video than any video that we've ever done. Definitely hit the subscribe button if you love cruise videos. We got tons of them for you. And definitely check out howtohavefunoutdoors.com. Today, we're going to talk about, that's right, the Mardi Gras, the big ship, the one that everyone's talking about. It began operation back in July of 2021. It's an excellent class cruise ship built in Finland, and boy, oh boy, is it a fabulous cruise ship. It's high tech. It has all kinds of great restaurants. It has everything that you would ever dream to have on a cruise liner. In fact, Carnival spent crazy money in the design, in the size, and everything about it to make it the new flagship and naming it after their very first cruise ship. It even has a microbrewery. It has a roller coaster, the first cruise ship in the world ever to have a roller coaster on it. It is amazing. If you haven't seen this ship, check out our full walkthrough and tour video. Over 50,000 views in just the first three months. And our famous 25 tips for the Carnival Mardi Gras. That's a must watch. We also do a balcony room tour and review. You're going to want to check that out. Now let's talk about the standard Carnival cruise ship that we've all fell in love with over the years. Carnival Freedom is what we're going to use today as the comparison. Freedom began operating way back in 2007. That's right, it's a conquest ship. It's built in Italy and it belongs to this family of Carnival Conquest, Carnival Glory, Carnival Valor, Carnival Liberty, and Carnival Freedom. Again, we're going to use Freedom as the example, but all of these are right around 110,000 square feet and they actually were all designed designed around the Carnival Destiny style ship, which was the Destiny class of ships going back to 1996 and the Carnival cruise ship that we've all come to love. But many of you may not realize Carnival Destiny and these other ones have all been renamed to Carnival Sunshine, which used to be Carnival Destiny, Carnival Sunrise, which used to be Carnival Triumph, and Carnival Radiance. And uh, all of these are very similar design. And today we're going to show you the freedom versus the Mardi Gras, the differences in which ones are better and which ones are more unique uh, from the standpoint of the overall experience. So as you can see, no question about it, the Carnival uh, Freedom is a fantastic ship. We've always had a great time. We've been on this ship four or five times more than any other Carnival Cruise Line and we absolutely love it. If you're not familiar with the Freedom, we also did a walkthrough video on that recently. We just went on a recent cruise and we had a blast. Definitely check out the full walkthrough and tour video of that. All right, let's get started with the competition here. What size Carnival ship do you like? Definitely comment down below. We're interested in your feedback on this topic also. But fact number one, size matters. Who has the biggest ship? Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras wins this one. We measure that in gross tonnage, 181,000 gross tons on the Mardi Gras versus 110,000 on the Freedom. And there's no question about that. Everybody knows the Mardi Gras is the biggest carnival ship. How does that compare to the Titanic? 46,000 gross tons. If you go back to the early 1900s, it was the Titanic, Freedom, Mardi Gras, and then obviously with Carn or Royal Caribbean, they have over 200,000 tons. But uh, no question about it, the Mardi Gras is a flagship named after the very first 
uh, cruise ship for Carnival Cruise Line, the Mardi Gras. It is state of the art. It is fantastic. So let's talk about fact number two, best food. Guess what? Mardi Gras wins that one. No question about it. The Mardi Gras is loaded with chow and lots of different restaurant options. There's so many different restaurants. It's hard to get to all of them on the cruise ship. And in fact, they've got a little bit of everything. How about the Italian restaurant? You have to make reservations for it, but it's free of charge. Great service, great chow. You've got the Seafood Shack, which Freedom also has. But then in addition, you have Street Eats, which is brand new. And we fell in love with this, to be honest. We kept sneaking up there. It was so easy. It was next to the pool and lots of cool chow, all made to order fresh. And we really enjoyed it. And in fact, uh, this kind of took away from the other lunch options. But take a look at that pot thai. They mixed it up every single day. There was something different. Here you've got pork dumplings, dim sum, beef kebabs. They had a little bit of everything. We loved it. Of course, they still have the guy's burger and there's nothing like that like you have on Carnival versus other cruise ships. They definitely win in that category. And how about the big chicken? That's right. The big chicken is on the Mardi Gras and that's fantastic. You could just hang out there every day. And no question about it. How about Chebang? Everybody talks about this as one of the best restaurants. Another free charge, Mexican and Asian. And then you've got all the pay for restaurants like the Sea Grill, which is fantastic. And how about the Fahrenheit Steakhouse? Also very, very good. So lots of options here on the Mardi Gras, including you still have your traditional dining room here. It's called the Palm Resort. They have three different levels of that. And we only made it there one or two nights because of all the different eating options. Um, so let's compare that to the Freedom. Even though, no question about it, Mardi Gras wins, lots more chow, a lot more food options. The fact of the matter is the Freedom class still has the guy burgers down by the pool. Great setup. This is how they were set up originally with Carnival and a lot of fun. And how about the deli? Fantastic. And no question about it, on a formal night, you still get the big old lobster. In our case, we always order two. And that's fantastic. And there's really nothing that compares to that experience on a standard Carnival Cruise Line main dining room. You go there every night, and with the exception of maybe hitting the steakhouse one night, but you get to know your waiter. You get to know the people that you eat with. It's a different experience. And you have a lot of fun, and it becomes a different type of experience. Even though you have more chow on the Mardi Gras, the routine, I feel, is better on the standard Carnival Cruise Line ships. And I also believe that the steakhouse because it's one of the only extra uh, charge restaurants on the cruise ship is actually superior and what I mean by that uh, the service the quality of the food this particular steakhouse has won all kinds of awards on the freedom and every time we've been there the food has been outstanding the service has been outstanding take a look at that steak take a look at this dessert what a beautiful dessert they did for us and then if that doesn't float your boat of course you've got the normal buffet area and I don't know why but on the standard size ships they always seem to have a lot more desserts if you love desserts it's always filled with desserts and of course they still have the seafood bar and the pizza and everything else hey how come he gets the ice cream french fries you won't let me have that nope, not for you. what come on that's the ultimate carnival dish right there Okay, the next one may seem silly, but animal towels. That's right. Freedom wins. And you're not going to believe this, but we jumped on the Mardi Gras. We've been getting uh, animal towels all these years, and Aliche just loves them. And quite honestly, we were surprised to find out that on the Mardi Gras, they only provided them every other day. We actually had to ask to get it every day. Freedom gives you a towel every day. So believe it or not, Aliche made me put this one in there, but the class Classic Carnival Cruise Line, you get one every single day, and you get the trophies and all kinds of fun stuff. All right, how about this? Freedom wins again. The Comedy Club and the nightclub. That's right, the punchliner was probably the most disappointing part of the cruise ship. It's a small venue. Not that they didn't have more shows, not that they didn't have more comedians, and yes, they did allow to throw the punchliner into the big auditorium, but take a look at the Freedom 
comedy club and the amount of space and take a look at the club at uh, Standard Ship and you will see that they are much bigger than the Mardi Gras. So somehow they missed that one because these are two popular spots on these cruise ships, right? So, okay, so Mardi Gras at two points, Freedom is at two points. Let's move on to the next one, best overall shows. Well, Mardi Gras wins this one hands down. We were blown away by all the shows on the Mardi Gras. In fact, you could even argue there were too many to try to get to all of them. But they had great shows at midship. They had great shows in the theater. They had great shows all throughout the ship. And quite honestly, a huge variety of shows. You had shows going on all the time. And quite honestly, we were a little confused which one we go to next. How do we get there? It's a big ship. We'll talk about that a little bit later. And we were running around trying to hit all these things so we could see them. And we heard about them. And some of the shows, they don't repeat. So unfortunately, if you miss them, you miss them. And uh, But for sure, you want to get to as many of them as possible because they did a phenomenal job. It's just my opinion, but their interaction with the audience happens all the time. As you can see here, we were part of the magic show, which was really cool for how to have fun outdoors. But overall, no question about it, it seems that now that this is the flagship of all of the Carnival Cruise Line ships, they go over and above on these shows. And as you can see here, it's just nonstop. So depending on where you eat, depending on where your shows are, this is actually overstimulation, if you will. We were running around constantly trying to figure out, you know, what shows we were going to, you name it. But the fact of the matter is they were fantastic. But how about the Freedom and the classic Carnival Cruise Line Theater? It's nothing really like it because what happens is you go to dinner, then you go to the show, or you go to the show and then you go to the dinner. But you end up going to the same place every single night and it makes it easy for a routine and you really enjoy yourself and they have a lot of great shows on those size ships. The other interesting facts about the traditional ship like the Freedom is the theater itself to me is much more relaxing. And what I mean by that is you have, look at the big cushy sofas with your little table in front where you can set your drink down, you can get close to the entertainers. That is not possible in the classic movie theater style theater that you have with the Mardi Gras. Clearly you can add more people in that theater, but this is what I consider a much more enjoyable format. All right, so let's move on. How about the central pool area? Freedom wins. This is probably a huge surprise to all of you. I mean, no question about it. Mardi Gras did a fantastic job. Double decker, if you will. And, you know, many of the key elements to this central location are absolutely phenomenal. It's no question about it. They did a great job, big pool, and we got two-story uh, Red Frog. We've got all kinds of big screens. Here's a 100-year-old lady. That's right, 100-year-old lady that was on our uh, Mardi Gras, having fun out there in the central pool area, as you can see here, big movie nights, all that good stuff. So how can I say that Freedom has won in this competition? Well, it's pretty simple, and that is, yes, the Mardi Gras is beautiful, but it's so spread out, it's so huge, it's hard to get everywhere, and everyone is kind of all set in different locations. The only time you ever felt like you got everybody together was in the evening parties, and you would get a big group of people. But when it comes to the freedom and this particular design, I absolutely love it compared to any cruise ship in the world. And we've been on all kinds of different cruise ships. Take a look at how far back the seating goes with these. And you can see it goes all the way up. So it's like a big theater in itself. And everybody is in the central location. So all the activities you're a part of, the slide goes into that central location, the pool goes into that central location, all the evening parties once again are in that central location. And you get to know people, you get to have fun there and you don't miss any of the excitement and if you do want to get away from it all and you do want to get away from the kids you just go back in the adult section and enjoy yourself in one of those spas and uh, have a great time but overall take a look at the way these ships were designed I don't know why they walked away from this type of format 
I think it's absolutely awesome and a great experience and everybody's part of it. And you can hear the horns better. Everybody loves those horns from Carnival Cruise Line, for sure. All right, so let's move on. And now it's Mardi Gras three points, Freedom three points. Nobody expected this one, right? Well, guess what? We're going to talk some more now about some of the other aspects of this cruise line. But before we do, let's talk about our videos, The Chef's Table. Definitely got to watch that one. That's a new video that we just came out with from the Mardi Gras, actually. And we had a great time. And what a wonderful dinner this was. If you're thinking about it, I know a lot of people, including my parents, is like, why would I pay extra money to go to some fancy dinner when I get free food? Well, we're going to show you in this video. Video and you will absolutely love it and we go through all the dishes in addition we've got all kinds of shore excursion videos you've got to check those out all over the Caribbean so if you're thinking about hitting a shore excursion on one of your cruises no question you can check out our channel go to the cruise section and we've got all kinds of super cool shore excursion videos that you will really love and uh, we're happy to show them to you some good stuff from Aruba to all over the Caribbean you're gonna love it so let's talk about fact number seven spa and fitness mardi gras wins it well again this is where size matters so the cloud nine spa is truly terrific two floors thermal suite and not just a little thermal suite like you get on a lot of these ships but a big thermal suite with big uh, spa area and beautiful saunas and beautiful steam rooms beautiful pools and uh, they did not miss this one. Take a look at the built-in showers and all the equipment that are in this area and the beautiful uh, salon and barbershop. I mean, you got to give it to the Mardi Gras. They spent some serious money, all kinds of all of your fancy stuff that you can buy. And they also have spa balcony rooms that you can get with your own private elevator down to the spa. And we did a video on that. You're definitely going to want to check it out. We walk through the room. We walk through the balcony. We show you how to take that elevator down. But in any case, how about the Freedom? Well, the Freedom is the classic spa, and we still enjoy it a lot. In fact, one of the things I love about the smaller spas is that you get to know the people once again. So if you got somebody good, you can have them do all kinds of work, and they can tell you everything that's wrong with you. So for example, this guy on the Freedom, he said, hey, you need to do a facial. Hey, you got to get your hair cut. Hey, you know, you got to do this, you got to do that. And uh, quite honestly, by the end of the time I spent with him with massages and this and that and everything else and working out in that gym we were all ready to go for our fancy formal nights looking good looking sharp and here we go you'll see us real quick walking down that hallway looking like a million dollars that's right here we are that's all because of the spa Okay, let's get started with the casino. Who has the best casino? Mardi Gras wins, and maybe by the biggest win. This is a colossal casino that these guys have put on this ship. In fact, I kind of question how big it is. I understand that it's a money maker, but uh, they could have made the comedy club a little bigger, maybe the casino a little smaller. But for all of those of you out there that love to gamble, you found the ship. This is a monster casino. And quite honestly, I could take footage of it for the next 10, 15 minutes. It is huge and it just goes on and on and on. Other people that have reviewed this have said the same thing. Tons of tables, tons of slots. You're going to love this if you're a gambler. This is like being in Vegas for sure. I mean, they have got all kinds of machines and beautiful tables. And uh, no question about it, if you love to gamble, this is the casino for you on the water. For sure, this thing is gigantic. And once it gets crowded, it gets booked up. But how about the Freedom? Well, what I love about the Freedom, even though it's nowhere near as big, is you can... Wait, who's on the dance floor? It looks like Caliche. Closer look. What? This is... 
one of the compliments I was going to say about the casinos, they have a dance floor in the casino. But obviously, when you walk to the bathroom, you got to be careful. Somebody can grab your girl. But again, with the smaller ships, same people every night. You get to know them, have a lot of fun, do a lot of dancing. Everybody becomes friends. That's part of that chemistry you get on the smaller ships. And boy, oh boy, is this a nice casino. You'll still have a great time. And Aliche had fun spending all our money on the slots. Okay, fact number nine sports deck Mardi Gras wins this unfortunately it's not even close again this is a huge huge playground that they put together for the Mardi Gras it is gigantic it's wonderful for the kids you've got a roller coaster we're going to talk about in a minute that is phenomenal you've got all kinds of cool things as you can see here but they literally spent a ton of money and it is phenomenal. The rope course, I mean, just the kids were going crazy for this. If you want to jog, you can still jog, and there's plenty to do up there. And how about basketball? These guys were loving it, and, uh, you know, if you want slides, you got slides. They've got all kinds of slides, big slides, small slides, you name it, they've got it. And the Mardi Gras, you're going to spend a lot of time up here if you've got kids, that is for sure. But more than that, these guys really went went out of their way to design this. We were super impressed. Again, we've been on a lot of cruise ships, but they did a great job here. And how about the hoops area? I mean, watch this guy sink this one from way out. Boom, down it goes. But uh, putt putt course, yep, they've got it. They got a little bit of everything. And uh, how about the next thing we're going to talk about? The first ever in the world. That's right, a roller coaster. Best of what's new awarded by Popular Science Magazine and Carnival did it. They were the first in the world ever to put a roller coaster on a cruise ship. We were skeptical. We were like, okay, is it really worth the money? How cool is it? And is it just a trinket? But take a listen to this thing. It was worth it. It was fun. It was fast also, but how about the freedom? Well, the freedom's no slouch. You've still got plenty of areas to have fun. You've got all the classic table sports. And as you can see here, once again, what I love about the central part of the ship, slides come right down to the main deck on the Lido deck. And uh, they've got a nice jogging uh, track, if you will. In some ways, much nicer than the Mardi Gras, it's the old school. But the volleyball court, and once you get to know people on the smaller ship, you get some good games going out there and some good hoops. And we had a lot of fun on the uh, Freedom for sure. And how about the putt-putt? I mean, look at this. Boom! In it goes. A little bit of competition between Aliche and I. Let's see how she does. What? what? Hey, look at that. All right, let's move on. How about the overall design? The Mardi Gras wins again. So as you can see, the Mardi Gras is kind of taking it away from here. And Aliche was so excited about this cruise. We had a blast. But let's talk about the Freedom for a minute. This is a much older ship, and it's still a beautiful ship. As you can see here, the designs, the lines on the ship, it's just a really beautiful design ship. And quite honestly, like I said before, we've been on this ship more than any other carnival ship or any other cruise ship for that matter. So we love the freedom and everything about it. It's kind of like once you get used to that spot that you're always used to going to, you really, really enjoy it. And that's one of the things we've always had a great experience on freedom. And take a look at the center of the ship. It's still beautiful. They've done a great job. They renovated this thing back in 2019. It's been renovated a couple of different times. Uh, but it's still a really awesome ship, and uh, as you can see, it still looks great in the water, and everybody that we know that's been on this ship loved the Freedom. So don't be shy when it comes to the smaller ships. Get out there and win some trophies, win some champagne. How'd we do it? You got to remember to do your robotic dancing. That's right, from the 80s, and uh, we cleaned up on some hardware 
and uh, let's uh, talk about the next ship in a minute here. But for uh, for for everyone that really questions, is it still worth going on these midsize ships? I would say absolutely yes. It's a different experience. We had a lot of fun on these ships over the years, and we'll continue to go on these ships. We really really loved it. All right, but how about the Mardi Gras? This thing is incredible. From the minute we boarded the ship, that's right, right here, we were impressed. This is one beautiful ship. It had almost a billion dollars. No wonder everyone is so excited and dancing and going crazy about these new lines of these ships. And you're going to get two more very soon, like we stated at the beginning of this video. And boy, oh boy, was this video a tough one. So definitely hit the like button. It took me two weeks. My hard drive went. My computer software, editing software crashed a couple of times. So this video probably has more splices more edits more film in it than any of the videos we've ever done but as you can see here take a look at the mardi gras and what even in the buffet area they've done it's it's really nice and the in the whole area is gorgeous yeah it's great it's a beautiful dining area as you can see, the dining area was great, the food was great, and look at how this ship looks in the water, and it is just magnificent. No question about it, Carnival went all out. Imagine, almost a billion dollars. This thing is gorgeous. No matter if you're a Royal Caribbean person, if you're a Norwegian person, a Holland, it doesn't matter. You have to admit this Mardi Gras is a beautiful boat and they have a roller coaster on it and the kind of gaming that they have going on here in the arcade, all brand new games, the rooms are beautiful. Definitely check out some of our walkthrough videos and tip videos uh, with this new ship. It is phenomenal. And as you can see here, it is gorgeous. No question about it. Also, when you're on that ship, make sure you see the Mardi Gras parade. This is made up of all the people that are on the ship. So it's a lot of fun. You got the pool all the way down on the back. And then you have another pool way up top in the back. So you've got more pools than you typically do on the old style ships. And uh, everybody was having a ball. The shopping is absolutely amazing too. You, once you get on this ship, you know, they've got the whole mall, the whole central park area here where you've got all kinds of things you can do and see and uh, they've done a great job with this no question about it you can pretty much buy whatever you want eat wherever you want go to whatever show you want and the design of the ship is absolutely gorgeous take a look at this that doesn't remind you of the classic carnival ship it is a classy classy looking boat and that whole debate in the past about carnival being the fun ship and the other ships being nicer well i think they've got the fun ship and they got a nicer ship they've got both on this one and it is gorgeous and you're gonna love it if you get a chance to get out there and go on this ship but overall as you can see it is gorgeous definitely check out our walkthrough and tour video over 50,000 views in the first couple of months there 25 tips for the carnival mardi gras definitely check that out if you're gonna go on there and make sure you bring all your stuff for your door it's a tradition that goes back all the way to the original mardi gras and there's a thumbs up up for the Mardi Gras for everyone and let's get down to the final fact the Mardi Gras wins the big ship wins at the end of the day as much as we like the freedom the Mardi Gras that's right there's so much excitement the Mardi Gras wins there's no question about it so let's hold up those trophies one for freedom one for Mardi Gras you guys have done an amazing job at Carnival hats off to all the senior management there and putting together this great cruise line and also the amount of work that goes into operating these vessels is pretty remarkable Carnival's done an amazing job throughout this entire crisis and as you can see here everyone was still having fun this was actually in January and we were having a ball. Take a look at Aliche. She was having a lot of fun out there. Maybe too much fun. She was too excited about the Mardi Gras. But as you can see here, that's what it's all about on Carnival. And that's why they call it the fun ship. Get out there, have a good time and really, really enjoy it. 
So uh, overall, as you can see, it is a beautiful boat. We hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, lots of shots in here of all the ships. And no matter what ship you go on with Carnival, you're going to have a great time. Get excited about your trip. Get planning on it. Get all your shore excursions set up and get ready to have the time of your life. And don't worry about the Rona. And if you are worried about the Rona, guess what? We got a video on that too on the boarding. So take a look at that one. But overall, as you can see, big trophy going out to these cruise ships. Definitely hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. We've got lots more videos for you. And thank you so much for watching. How to have fun outdoors! <laughs>